Now with NFL Hall of Famer Peyton Manning, we could talk the Super Bowl wins, the records, the honors, we could talk the commercials, we could talk the new show with his brother, we could talk all kinds of stuff. Uh, but we don't have all day, so let's just get to the fan cave at Empower Field at Mile High. And there he is, Peyton Manning. It's good to see you, young fella. How you doing today? TJ, doing well. Thanks for having me. Well, it's good that we've been talking so much. I'll, I'll let you get in on this, too. The, as you know, Strahan's going to going to space here in a couple of days. Everybody's asking if you, you have advice or anything like that for him. My question is, would, would you send your brother, if you could, uh, up in that capsule? Probably not. No? Uh, you know, uh, uh, he's my younger brother. Um, it's my job to still look out for him, and I'm not sure um, I would do that. Strahan, absolutely. Go up there, <laughs> defensive lineman, tough guy. He can handle it. I'm not sure quarterbacks are quite as tough as those D linemen. <laughs> that was a sweet brotherly answer there. We really appreciate hearing that. We do want to, we want to talk about the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award. Put, you put into context here um, just how big and special of an honor this is. It's going to be coming. I know we have the nominees, but this honor we're talking about, just how, how valuable and just how important uh, of an honor this is. Well, it's the NFL's most prestigious honor. They give it out um, a couple of days before the Super Bowl at the NFL Honors Show. They give it out after the MVP of the NFL. So it's important to the NFL and Nationwide has really elevated this award. 32 nominees, a player from each team is going to be a Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee. Each of those nominees is going to get $40,000 to go toward their charity. The eventual winner is going to get $250,000 toward their charity. TJ, these guys are doing great work. Um, I really appreciate Nationwide and the NFL kind of putting their platform up higher so people know the great work that they're doing. I don't think anybody does a community service to try to win an award, but when somebody like Nationwide is recognizing it, more people are doing more good things, and that's a positive. And you know what, uh, a couple of the nominees here will mention, uh, and you know what, Dak Prescott, we, we talk so much about his athletic prowess and how impressive he is on the field, but he's a nominee uh, for what he does off the field as well. Yeah, Dak's a great player, but off the field, he's kicking butt, too. His FFF Foundation focuses on cancer research, suicide prevention as well, and mental health. So he's getting it done off the field. Another player, Andrew Whitworth, big, strong, tough offensive lineman. But off the field, he's kind of a teddy bear. He's helping out families in Louisiana and Los Angeles that can't get good homes. He's been great to Louisiana and all the hurricane relief. And he also does a lot for Make-A-Wish, helping kids who have tough fights on their hands have these lifetime wishes come true. So uh, credit to both those guys. But that's just two of the examples. Each player has a nominee. Um, it's pretty awesome to see all the good work these guys are doing. Yeah, you call him a, a big dude, but a, uh, but a teddy bear as well. And, and I mentioned your brother at the top. <laughs> Look, you, all, you I know you're retired, but you've been spending a lot of time in football. People are enjoying you and your brother going at it in, the, in that simulcast, the Manning cast. Uh, <laughs> but you all have a lot of special guests. One of them called you out on this brotherly love. Let's take a look and listen at this. <laughs> I'll tell you what else I see through. This fake brotherhood that you and Peyton had. I know the truth. You don't like each other. Okay, I, I've been looking through the small for all these years. The gig is up, boys. The gig is up. Nobody believes it. Nobody believes it. Because if you did get along, you would be sitting next to each other in the room. Okay, that's good stuff. I, I believe you. It's real. The brotherly love is real. Uh, there's no doubt about it. It's fun to do this with Eli. Uh, Eli. Uh, Eli and I have not watched a football game together mm. since I think the <laughs> fall of 1993 when I was a senior in high school. So for he and I to be able to do this together, it's, watching it's, the game uh, we love, we have a lot of fun. Um, I take good. a lot of enemy fire, TJ, uh, as you can <laughs> see. I'm an open target for well, easy shots. Well, it's great stuff. We love watching Peyton. Always good to have you. And we want folks to know the 2021 Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year will be announced during the annual NFL Honors Awards special airing on Thursday before the Super Bowl right here on ABC and Monday Night Football with Peyton and Eli back January 3rd on ESPN2. Love you, Peyton. See you soon, man. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.